we're gonna start the class first again with our breathing exercise to warm up our body okay so the last two classes remember we did the ujjayi breathing the victorious breath you breathe from your nose and exhale through your nose and then the other one is the diagramic breathing where you breathe slow deep breath as you inhale making sure the tummy is balloon and as you exhale contract the abdomen muscle to release the air out okay so today try to remember do the same but this time I want you to take two fingers place it into your hip bone here right feel that hip bone so when you inhale you will feel that your hip bone going down as you're going down your tummy is filled with the air balloon down and your chin go up so when your chin go up you'll get more oxygen and it's easier for you to breathe right as you exhale chin towards your chest your contract of your muscle okay and your hip bone to the back right so inhale chest up exhale chin to chest inhale exhale so I'll just show you the side view if you notice here my hip bone so it's going down and my uh, derria is looking that side and as I exhale so it's like a movement towards your hip as well as you do this almost like up and down right so when you do this just take your time slow and steady so continue at your own pace, your breathing. We're gonna do a couple of breaths before we move on to head to toe exercise. So make sure when you inhale through your nose, exhale through your nose as well. Try to have that more deeper breath. Two more deep breaths. slowly come back to your normal breathing just place your palms onto your knees palms facing up and just relax here maybe two more deep breaths on your own and then slowly just come back okay good how do you feel with that warming up? It helps you better to breathe when you open your chest, especially when you inhale, yes. So in yoga, it's very important when you breathe because I really wanna make sure that my students understand the correct way to breathe because every movement, you need to connect with the breathing. Especially when we do compression, you need to exhale more. I'll tell you later, then we can incorporate that, okay? So a bit of uh, warming up still sitting down just make sure again your sitting bone is on the ground okay and then slowly just lift your hands up into the air right and as you lift your hands up just make sure you don't flare your rib cage no bring it back to center okay sometimes some people they lift their hands up and their head go front as well so bring it back to center okay yes yes good if you feel when you do this it's a bit too tight or restricting your neck make it a v so you have more space and you feel less tired this is fine as well because the whole idea we lift our hands is just to elevate our shoulder blade our scapula to elevate that's it okay good and then slowly as you exhale just bring your palms down with resistance 
So palms facing down, and then inhale, palms facing up. Now as you do this, it's not a simple up, it should feel like there's a weight on your palms. Resistance, okay? Inhale up, exhale down. So again, remember as you inhale through your nose, inhale up, exhale down also through your nose. So contract your ab muscle, okay? Now a little bit of um, neck exercise here, neck stretch. So first place it, your chin in the mid center. Now carefully just move your chin mid circle look towards the right downside and then slowly as you exhale bring it to the center inhale bring your chin look towards the right left side and then from here bring your chin back to center inhale slowly lift your chin look up slowly exhale turn your chin to your right upper ceiling and then calves, we just bring it slowly back into the mid-center. Inhale, bring it up towards the left upper side. And then slowly as you exhale, bring it back to mid-center and carefully back to the main part where we started. Good. So just a small neck stretch, okay? But um, a bit of our shoulder uh, exercise here. Okay, what we're going to do is that we're going to slowly just cross your arms together like this. So I'm having my right arms on top of my left one, right? Now from here, carefully as you do that, try and bend your elbow, bring it facing the back of the palms together if you can. If you cannot, if you find it just like this, this is okay. So the idea is to have your shoulder blade retracted, okay? So it's open at the back, okay? So as long as you get that feeling, that is absolutely fine. But just for your information, in, the, in Sanskrit, we call this Garudasana, as in the eagle arms, okay? Right, so where you are, we're gonna slowly just inhale and just lift our elbow up. Carefully, do not overstretch. And then slowly, as you exhale, just curve your body. Bring the elbow towards your chest, chin to chest. So one more time, inhale, lift up. Good. Exhale, bring your elbow down. One last time here, inhale, lift up. And exhale, contract your abdomen, chin to chest. Good, slowly bring it back to center. Release the hands carefully. Now switch side, left hand on top of right. Carefully bend it again in the middle and bring the palms facing, good. So this side is better, right, <laughs> for you? Good, so the same drill. Inhale, lift the elbow up slow and steady. Perfect, you're doing great. Exhale, bring the elbow to your chest, chin to chest. One more time, inhale all the way up. Exhale. One last time. Inhale, look up. Exhale. Nice. Carefully release your hands. Good. And just wiggle it a bit. So sometimes I always like to wiggle because sometimes our body is too tense. We need to always remind and send a message to our brain. Relax. So again, like I said, the more we relax, the better we will get into the stretches, all right? So carefully just do a uh, twist here, okay? So this time, we are going to do a twist without putting onto our knees. So just using your palm, spread it open like this, right? And then using your ab muscle, inhale and as you exhale, twist towards your right side. So. Do you feel a different when you use the when you put this one down and without? Good. This is helping you to um, training your app actually. So carefully just exhale, bring you back to center. Inhale here, and as you exhale, twist to the other side. 
Breathe here as you twist, as you maintain in this twist position. Still breathing. Hold it, contract your ab muscle. You're training them. So this is an active stretching for your abs. Good, slowly come back to center. Nice. Come back and wiggle again. Good. Right, now from here again, we're gonna slowly inhale, lift our hands up. And then as we exhale, we're gonna forward fold. Now as you forward fold, squeeze your tummy in as you exhale, so you have more space to go down onto the ground. Put your palms down on the floor, making sure that your sitting bone is on the ground. Your hip bone is not lifted, so you have to make sure the hip bone stays on the ground. You can put your head down if you want, or just look forward, and then slowly, when you're ready, push your palms down on the ground and bring your torso up. Good. Slowly. Okay. How do you feel there? All right. Okay. Let's just do one more time because I want you to make sure that because when you do this, very important that your hip bone stays on the ground, right? One more time. Slowly inhale, lift both hands up. Good. And remember, as you exhale, create that space so you have more uh, space to, to lean on forward. And exhale, lean forward, look down on the ground, keep sitting bone grounded. And if you feel comfortable, just put your head on the floor. Or alternatively, you can always just look forward. When you feel ready, slowly just place your palms on the ground, push yourself slowly, slowly away from the mat. Yes, good. Okay, now we're going to do a side stretch. Okay, so for a side stretch, just put now your left hand on the left side of your hip. Okay, raise your right arm up. Good. And then from here, slowly just bring it towards your left side. Yes. So, depends on you, how you feel comfortable. This is side stretch. But if you rotate your rib cage, you're doing a twist at the same time. So I'm just showing you the difference here. I'm doing this, and now I'm opening my chest as I twist. So, try and feel the difference. If it's good for you, you can stay there. If not, one side stretch is fine enough. Right? Okay. You, ha you have some pain, you said? All right, better. Okay. okay, good. So this time on the right side, so we need to balance it. Lift your left hand up. Good. And when you're ready, exhale as you do the side stretch. Good. Now as you do the side stretch, be careful with your neck. Try and move a little bit and find a comfortable position for your neck. So for me, I feel nice looking down and I also feel nice looking up. And if you want to rotate, just push your ribcage up. And then slowly inhale, bring your back to center. Good. Nice. Okay, moving on, we're going to do a little bit for our hip and we're going to get into this position where we call cat-cow, okay? So remember the breathing where you move your hip, right? So we're going to do that. So if you can place the camera a bit more down so I can see you in the tabletop position like this. So this is tabletop position. Yes, that's much better, yeah. Okay, so can you go into tabletop? So in tabletop, when I mention tabletop, it means your knees underneath your hip for support and your wrist is also underneath your shoulder. Spread open your fingers to distribute all the weight, okay? So you, when you lean forward, you can feel the weight on your palms, right? And when you lean to the back, you can feel it's, it's all right, feel stable. Now, as you go neutral tabletop, your back is flat. 
So if you don't mind, can you give me a side view so I can see how is your back? Because it's important to have the back flat, like a tabletop. <laughs> yeah, okay. Maybe your knee go a little bit back. Yes, okay, that's fine. And maybe your palm just a little bit closer. Yes, mm -hmm. great, that's your tabletop, perfect. Good tabletop, okay. So from here, cat cow. So remember, cow pose is when you inhale, open your chest, chin up. So your tummy goes down because you want to have more. Yep, good. And as you exhale, chin to chest, curve your upper body. Yes, good. Good. So if you see how I do this, my upper back in cat is like this. So I'm pushing the palms down and the shoulder blade is protract. Yes. Okay, let's do that. So inhale, look up. Exhale, chin to chest. One more time. Inhale, take your time. As you exhale, curve your upper back, squeeze your ab. Yes. Inhale up. Exhale. I'm going to do three more sets of this, so take your time as you inhale. When you did that, you feel um, your muscle engagement, especially when you do the, uh, for me, when you do cow, you look up. The most important thing is you look up and your tummy goes down as your hip. Yeah, and as you do cat, when you exhale, very important to squeeze your tummy. And you see the upper back? It's like a cat when they're angry. When they're angry, they do like this. So just imagine yourself as a cat. So very important to just have that and squeeze everything. So your, your body almost looks like a dome. Okay, good. So that's that. Now a little bit of the hip exercise. Come back to tabletop, making sure that your wrist underneath your shoulder mm -hmm. and your knee underneath your hip. Good. Now lift one leg out. I'm doing my left leg. Yes, extend the left leg. Good, extend it, right? Good. Now from here, slowly just see if you can move up and down, up and down. You don't have to go all the way up, no. Just to feel how it goes up and down like that. So when you do this, stretch it. Feel as if somebody's pulling your ankle to the back, right? And now we're going to go from side to side. Yes. So again, feel as if somebody's pulling your leg. Right, and now point your leg and flex. Point, flex. Good. Very nice. Bring it back, bend your knee, switch side, extend the right leg. Good, so we're gonna do the same. Bring it down and up. Yes. Feel as if your friend is pulling your leg at the back. Right. Nice. Now at the same time, remember to engage your core. Okay, so tuck your tailbone so you get that muscle engagement. Now we move side to side. If you're feeling strong here, try also to engage your glutes so you'll be able to shape your glutes. Good. Nice. Slowly just bring it back, bend your knee. Now we're making a combination, okay? Left leg extend, right hand extend. Okay, find your balance there. Control with your core, tuck your tailbone, 
and feel as if somebody's pulling your hand in front and somebody's pulling your leg. So you're really stretching yourself. You feel that. And at the same time, don't forget to engage your core. Hold here. If you feel tired at any time, you can go back to child pose. It's okay, take a break. <laughs> All right, then switch side. Let's try and switch and see how it goes. So again, just remember as if somebody is pulling you, you're feeling strong. Oops, <laughs> it's okay, you can come back. Good. So for me, I normally just look forward instead and just imagine looking at my friend's face who is pulling me. <laughs> So at the same time, also remember to engage your glutes, your core, and breathe. And smile, maybe. <laughs> All right, so release. Come back and just relax for a while. Bring yourself to child pose. So in child pose, you have the option if you want to open your knees or close, and then just stretch yourself down. So that is child pose. If you want to take a break, you can just stretch here. That's right. Good. Yeah. Good. You can slowly just put your head onto the ground to just relax. When you're ready, we can do another session here. Now, before that, I just want to check how is your knees doing there? Is the knees okay? The knees are alright? Okay, good. We're going to yeah, okay. So we're going to do another set of this, but a different variation. Okay? So the next one is what we call a tiger pose. Okay? I'll show you first, maybe, then you can observe, and then after that you can do on your own. So come back, we're doing tabletop, right? And then extend the left leg, extend the right arm out. And then slowly we're going to bend the left leg. Try and see if I can fetch onto the back. Yeah. And then slowly I'll try and, okay, I'll show you on this side. So, carefully. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. You're almost there. You got it. Yes. Okay. But I will just try and tell you why we do this. Okay. What What is the goal here in this stretch, right? So in tiger pose, when I extend the opposite leg, so now I'm doing the right and now I'm doing the left hand up. So as I do this, basically, I'm going to bring this, bend the knee, right? Bring it closer. And as I do this, I'm pushing this way. So as I'm pushing, yeah, as I'm pushing, it actually helps to open my chest. And we have to look forward. Yeah, slowly. Because tiger pose. Yeah, you got it, you got it. Remember your core, tuck your tailbone. Yes, raise your chest. Beautiful. Breathe. Very nice. Good, release. Take a break. Okay? So, I'm happy one side happened for you, but you can feel it here as it opens, right? As you push your leg to the back, yeah, it expands. Exactly. Let's just try one more set from each side, okay? I'm just going to change my position here to show you that your chest has to look forward because some people, they get excited and the chest go this way instead. It has to remain here. And what I see from the second side that you did, you did good because your chest is looking forward. So that's perfect. Let's try again. I'm going to extend my left leg right now. Good. Right hand extend. Good. Bend the left knee. Perfect. Reach for it. And then push. Good. Look forward. So this side is looking to your side. Try your best to look forward, right? Good, release. Yeah, my good effort, I must say. 
So now let's do on the other side. Breathe first. Bring yourself to tabletop. Extend the right leg. Left hand. Bend the knee. Very nice. Hold it here. All right. Release. Take a break. Wiggle your arms and hands. Nice. Good. Now, we're going to just um, warm up a little bit on our toes. So just bring yourself in this position right now, like this. Try and see if you're able to bring your knee to your chest, right? And then bring your toes out so you can see your toes. And here, separate your toes as if you're going for pedicure. Separate them and then squeeze them, separate, squeeze. Do two sets of this. Good. Now from here, slowly just extend your legs. Flex it. And point. Flex. And point. Flex. And point. Two more. Good. Now, slowly just stretching a little bit. Move your hip one side to each. Yeah. Um, you're looking forward. Ah, oh, no, you're not doing that, no. You're just lifting one hip bone to another. So almost like a seesaw from one hip bone to another. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And carefully just use one of your hand to just pull your the flesh on your hip bone so you can feel only the bone down there. So push over the butt and <laughs> this just the hip bone, okay? Right. So from here, lift your hands up again. Okay. And then squeeze your tummy as you exhale and just bring yourself forward. So you don't have to Put your hands onto your toes. No, you just want to stretch. You're doing a active stretching. So breathe here. As you exhale, go deeper, closer down to your thigh. Five sets here. Two, three, four, five. Now to the side, right side. Two, three, four, five. Now left side, breathe, four and five, perfect. Just wiggle your knees and your feet. Move your ankles side to side. Okay, good, nice. So we're gonna do a bit of a recap from the first day and the second day that we learned on the flow. Okay, so let's get back to that. So first, Surya Namaskar the 12 steps in Hatha Yoga. All right, let's do that standing up. Okay. Right. Probably you need to go a little bit more further back so I can see you. Yeah, that's good, right. Yes, good. So from here, so you can see me standing, right? Good. So making sure that in the standing position, your hip bone is in neutral position, hands to the side so your chest is more open, look forward, inhale, push your hands up, and as you exhale, squeeze your tummy, bend your knee, and carefully place your fingertips or palms onto the ground. This is forward fold. And then carefully as you inhale, go to half lift. Just move your spine, extend your spine to the side. So it looks like an inverted L shape. Okay, good. Slowly from here, lift your right leg up and then bring it back on the ground. Good, okay. And carefully place your knee down on the floor. Okay, so feel that your hip bone is center, your square, your hip. 
Raise your hand up into the air and then bring it into cactus hand to the side. Remember cactus hand on the side? Uh, just, just bend the elbow and look forward. Yes, yes, this is cactus hand. Good, perfect. Hold here. Try and, and feel that core engagement. If you can, try and tuck your tailbone. You can feel the quadricep being activated and also your core. So when your core is activated, you feel more stable in this position. Okay, good. Slowly place both hands on the floor. Good. Lift the left leg back into downward dog. You remember downward dog? Yes. Okay, that looks like plank. You need to go more like an inverted V shape. Okay. Look at your navel if you can. Good. Lift your right leg up. Bend your knee. And then bring it in between your palms. Put it in between your palms. Carefully. Yes. Okay. Then bend both knee. Bend the knee at the back. Yeah. So we're doing opposite side right now. Yeah, good. So find your hip is square. Inhale, put your hands up into the air. As you exhale, cactus arms. Good. Find that core engagement again. Tuck your tailbone. You should feel your quadricep being activated as well. Very nice. Now carefully as you inhale, you're going to slowly just bring your back leg next to the other side. Great. And then from here, slowly exhale and bring yourself back to half lift. Remember the L shape? Yep. Good. Yes. Carefully bend your knee and then go deeper in your forward fold. Good, from here, inhale, bring both hands up into the air. And as you exhale, hands to your side, look forward. Good, nice. So that was, yes? Yeah, it's good, yes. All right, so just to recap about the Surya Namaskar in Hatha Yoga. So, when you're standing up, it's normal. You feel the weight distributed on your feet evenly, hip neutral, right? Hands on the side, chest open, look forward, good. And then when you come into half lift, so basically here, you have a micro band on your knee, right? So, your hand, you can put it here, 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 it doesn't really matter. The most important thing is that your spine here is extended. So try your best to keep it straight. So maybe for some people, they have like a curve here. So I will always tell them, feel as if somebody pulling from the neck to extend your spine, lengthen it. Okay, good. Then the difference between half lift and forward fold is that for beginners, I would suggest to bend your knees first and then have, when you exhale, squeeze your tummy and bring it closer, compress it, compress it to its chest to tie and your hands or fingertips can put on the ground good so if you show me the side view maybe i can see how your back is because some people they will have like this so i will always just tell them try and feel as if you open your chest yeah yeah that's good good but be careful with your neck if you feel a bit funny or too tense just look down yeah good so that's a forward fold. So in the future, when you become more better, you can practice at home and slowly try and straighten your knee. You see, slowly, slowly straighten. Slowly, right? And then in the future, you'll get to hold it and then just look down. So step by step, okay? Okay, good, looks nice. All right, so that's forward fold. Then from forward fold, we will lift our one leg up and go to Anjaniyasana. 
So basically you bend both of the knees, okay? So you go down, yes. So if you feel like you want to stretch your leg more, you can always just move and lift your knee and stretch. Have a better uh, leg extension here for you. But if you feel it's too much, just bring the knee together into a 90 degrees and 90 degrees at the back. It's fine as well. Okay, so the important thing is tuck your tailbone here, engage your core to have that balance so you don't feel wobbly. And inhale, hands up. And as you exhale, cactus hand to the side. Good, very nice. Then slowly from here again, we put our hands down on the ground. Okay, push, push the palms down. Push the palms down. You lift the other leg to the back into downward dog. So if you have a hard time putting your heels down, it's okay. You can always just do like this. This is fine. Good. Right? And then from here, slowly, you're going to lift your right leg up. Bring it in between your palms and put down on the ground. Good. Lift your torso. Inhale, hands up. Find your balance. Tuck your tailbone and hands on the side. Now be careful with your knee, uh, it has to be on top of your ankle. So your ankle must support this. So if you find that it's like this, no, this is not good. Or even like this, try not to. So here, to support, okay? Inhale, lift your hands up, engage your core, and exhale, hands on the side. Good, very nice. Now, carefully place it back on the side. Good, lift your leg and then put it on the other side of the foot. Okay, now, so we come back, reverse again. So we're gonna go half lift, remember this, the inverted L shape. Yes, remember, lengthen your spine, look forward. And then as you exhale, bend your knees, bring your chest closer to your thigh. Good. All right, so from here, a few more exercises here I want you to do. Try and lift your heels up. One heel up after another. Yes. So as you do this, you can slowly, slowly feel how it feels like your knee being closer to your chest. Right? Slowly, slowly. So this is a good practice as well. So very nice, your back looks lengthened. Your hamstring, stretch. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So be careful, do not overstretch your hamstring, okay? We need to do slowly, slowly. Now, this is just part of the Surya Namaskar in Hatha. So I have a few more for you to do but in, it involves on the mat, okay? So I will show you from downward dog, from downward dog, you move your knee down on the floor. Move your knee down, good. Now from here, your elbow, bring it inside, okay? If it goes like this, when you do push up, not on the side, you want it inside inside and then chin to ch uh, chest to chin down so you see your elbow now is outside i want you to bring it inside yes bring it inside and then bend perfect chest to chin down bring your chest to chin down like that good and then slowly just roll yourself to cobra Good. Push the palms down. Look, yes. If you feel your neck is funny, just look forward instead. 
Okay, so you feel here, right? On your arms. <laughs> so that is cobra. Okay, and then from here you want to tuck your toes and then bend your knee, bring your torso to the back and come back towards downward dog. Come back to downward dog. Okay, good. So that is the, the, in the middle of the Surya Namaskar. So it's a bit more tiring here. But trust me, if you do a few, day, uh, a few times a day, you will gain that muscle memory and you'll do much better, okay? So we do one, yes. So we're gonna do one time now, the full uh, Surya Namaskar Hatha. Are you ready? Good, all right. Let's stand up. Okay. So remember all the movement that we recap again. Stand in Tadasana, hands on the side, chest open. Inhale, hands up into the air. Good. And as you exhale, bend your knees into forward fold. Hands on the ground. Good. Inhale, half lift. Remember the L shape? Good. Lift your right leg to the back into Anjaniyasana. Bend the knee at the back. Slowly. Inhale, lift your hands up. Exhale, hands to the side. Cactus. Good. Slowly come back and inhale. Put the palms down on the ground. Lift your left leg to the back into downward dog. So imagine yourself an inverted V shape. If you cannot put your heels, it's okay. You can just walk the dog, moving your heels up and down. Right, from here, put your knees down on the floor. Good. Carefully making sure that your elbow is closer to your body. So bring the elbow down to the body. Bend the knee, bend the elbow, and chest to chin. And then move towards cobra. Yes, push your palms down, good. Look forward. Tuck your toes to the back. Bend your knees, bring your torso to the back. Push your palms down on the ground towards downward dog. So if you need to walk your dog, go ahead. Try and have a look at the navel. And then from here, lift your right leg up. Bend the right knee. Put it in between the palms. Slowly. Bend the back leg. And bring yourself up into Anjaneyasana. Hands up, inhale, and then exhale, hands on the side, cactus hand, good, and when you're ready, put both of the palms or fingertips on the ground, inhale, tuck your toes at the back, and bring it next to your right foot, good, come back to half lift, the L shape, Good. All right. And then slowly just bend further your knees into forward fold. From here, slowly inhale all the way up into the sky. And exhale, hands to the side of your hips. Look forward. Nice. Good. So, from all the poses, which part is the most uh, challenging for you? This one here? This one? Or Cobra? Ah, uh, okay. So, here, you shouldn't feel curved because you're tucking your tailbone, see? The difference? So if you go like this, yes, if you go like this, 
This is anterior tilt. No, no. Tuck your tailbone. So when you tuck your tailbone, <laughs> yeah. Yes. So no, this one, no. Tuck the tailbone. So when you tuck your tailbone, you're activating your core and you become more stable also. Okay? <laughs> No. Ah, okay. Because you have to understand because glutes and core, they're interconnected. They're together. So they work together. So as you tuck, quadricep and glutes, squeeze. Right? <laughs> okay. So I just want to ask you, um, do you still have your towel or belt or rope? Yes. Yes. Yes, please. Thank you. Good. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, that's good to know. Good to know. Right. Because, um, when I do certain poses, if you feel it's too much, don't. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Because my my point of view is just I don't want my students to overstretch. Because if they overstretch, yeah, especially the hamstring area. So as long as you know your limit, then you're good. Okay. So. We're going to lie down and let's just see how far your um, towel is able to assist you with this. So as you lay down, um, before you go down, I want you to do like this, okay? I want you to contract your ab muscle and go down smooth. Uh, no, uh, legs are same. Yes. Okay, wait, hang on. So I just put down a little bit so you can see maybe. Is this okay? Much better? Yeah, okay. <sighs> All right, got it. Okay, so as we go down, contract your abs. Right? Control, tuck your tailbone, tuck that. Slowly, slowly go down. Yeah. So as you go down, slowly control. And then release. Yes. Good, nice. All right. Now, from here, bend your left knee. Good. Place your rope or belt underneath the ball of your left foot. So something like this. Sorry, I don't know if you can see. Here. Um, it's not on your knee. Yes. Are you able to reach? It's okay? Yes, good. Good. So from here, you can slowly just bend your knees and just bring it closer to your chest. Good. Slowly try and straighten your leg. Inhale. Uh, straighten up. Exhale. Bend the knees and draw the knee closer to your chest. Good. One more time. E. Yeah. Yes, okay. So basically, just making sure that your hip is also square when you do this. Your extended leg, make sure you flex it. So it's not lazy leg. It's activated, all right? Then this one you put at the ball of your feet, bend your um, knees, and then as you inhale, straighten the leg. Oh, sorry, what was that? Yes, the knee to the chest, yes, if you can, right? So inhale, lift, 
straighten and exhale bring the knee to the chest if you can all right good so we're going to do that yes so inhale lift and slowly as you exhale remember to exhale through your nose inhale exhale Yes, very good. Very nice. And then as you exhale, bend your knee, draw it closer to you. Very nice. Do two more sets, please. Very good control. Inhale. Very nice. Exhale, bend the knees. Very good. One more last time. Inhale. And then slowly exhale. Good. Now, slowly from this one here, I want you to slowly just bring your toes towards your left side. So it's a hip opening towards your left side. So now you're gonna straighten, inhale, and exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten, yeah. Yes, to your left side, that's right. Try that. Good. Good. Also at the same time, make sure that your hips are on the ground so you can feel the sitting bone on the ground. It's not lifted, okay? Uh, if you feel comfortable, I'm using just one hand, so up to you. You can use two hands, it's fine. But if you feel, yeah. So towards the side. Make sure your hip is uh, on the ground, okay? Your, your hip bone. Good. And then slowly bend the knees. Very nice. So you just straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. That's it. Yes. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend the knees. Yes. Good. And then now straighten again. One more time. Good. Exhale, bend. Good. Now let's switch side. Change your belt to the right side now yes good yes 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 but then your yeah so I'll just change and you can see from this side Also make sure that your back is flat there is no lumbar curves there's no space for you to put your hand so it's all flat your shoulder is flat on the ground your hip is also flat on the ground so two more of this inhale straighten your leg breathe and slowly bend the knee exhale one more last time inhale Good. Slowly move your toes now towards the right side, making sure that still your hip bone on the ground. When you're ready, inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale. 
Then we're gonna do five more of this. So take your time, breathe in and out. So it's good that you keep your extended leg flex. Very good. Very good control. Just two more. And then last one, inhale deeply and slowly exhale, bring it together. Good. Slowly release. Now we're going to massage our lower back right now. So bring the knees towards your chest, hug your knees, making sure that the back is flat all the way on the ground. So your hip on the ground as well as your shoulder and hip. Good. Move side to side, lower back massage. Good. Right, now release your hands and just put it on the side, okay? So be careful with this. I want you to remember to use your core muscle here. Bring your knee closer. So you see what I'm doing? I'm bringing my knee closer to my chest without the help of my hand. So squeeze and tuck your tailbone to engage better. Good. Now as you do this, hold it and then slowly both knees down towards your right side. Slow and control using your core. Good. Your shoulders should be on the ground. Look at your left hand. This is a twist here. So look towards your left hand. If you feel painful in your lower back, squeeze your knee closer to your chest. It's okay? Good, very nice. Now slowly inhale, squeeze the core. Bring your knees now back to center. Good. Now as you exhale, squeeze further your knees to your chest and then bring it to the left side. Slow and steady and control. Look towards your left hand. Twist. Good. Try your best and just adjust your body, making sure that your shoulders, both of your shoulders on the ground. Okay? Breathe. We're gonna hold here maybe for four more deep breaths. So like I said, if you feel painful at your lower back, squeeze your knees closer to your chest so you have more flexion. Breathe. Yes, so palms is, yeah, your palms is facing up, but it's on the ground. Good. Yes, and you now you look at your right side of your palm. Yes. All right, so slowly inhale, lift the knees back into the center. Good. And then try and just lift the legs up. You can flex or point if you wish, just for some circulation here. Okay? Carefully, you're gonna put down both of the ankle down slowly with control feel the app controlling the movement slow and steady all the way to the ground and release very nice good move your body side to side just to relax move your hands your fingers and from here another app workout we're going to start sitting, hands up into the air, tuck your tailbone, curve your upper body, inhale, chin to chest, and lift yourself up with control. Yes, you can do it. Perfect. Nice. And if you feel, you can stretch all the way to the front. Good, very nice. Slowly come back, bring yourself to a sitting position, okay? 
So as you do this, just lift your hip, lift your knees like this. Relax. Good. Nice. We're going to do one twist here. So this time we're going to use our palm. So right palm to the back of your hip, left on top of your right knee. Perfect. Inhale, lift your chest, making sure that sitting bone is on the ground. Exhale, twist towards your right side. And then slowly come back to center. Switch side. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, twist. Good, and then slowly release, come back to center. So again, just move your body a little bit, side to side. Good. Hands to the side. Bring your hand. Bring your hands to the side, and then carefully bring it into a prayer pose to your chest. Close your eyes for two deep breaths. Slowly before you open your eyes, just have a gentle smile on your face and then open your eyes. Namaste.